My Bible Friends, Book One. Joseph and His Brothers, Genesis chapter 37 and 38. Joseph showed his new coat of many colors to his ten older brothers. They said, Our father never made us coats of many colors. The brothers were angry, very angry, because of Joseph's new coat. One night, while Joseph lay sleeping, he dreamed a dream, a strange dream. He dreamed he and his brothers were in the field, tying sheaves of wheat. Suddenly, his sheaf stood up straight and tall. His brother's sheaves gathered around and bowed to his sheaf. Joseph told his brothers the strange dream. They said, do you think we're going to bow down to you? The brothers were angry, very angry, because of Joseph's strange dream. Joseph's brothers went to a faraway place to find green grass for the sheep. When they had been gone a long time, Father Jacob said to Joseph, Go see if your brothers are well, and if it be well with the sheep. Joseph put on his coat of many colors. He said goodbye to his father. He said goodbye to his little brother Benjamin. Then he began the long, long walk. Joseph walked and walked and walked. At last, from the top of a hill, he saw his brothers and the sheep camped by the road that leads to Egypt. Joseph shouted to them. He waved to them. He was happy to see them. But Joseph's brothers were not happy to see him. They said, There comes that dreamer. When he came near, they took hold of him. They pulled off his coat of many colors. They threw him into a deep pit. Joseph begged them to take him out of the pit and let him go home. But they paid no attention to his cries. They sat down and ate their lunch and didn't give Joseph even a crust. Down the dusty road that leads to Egypt came traders with their camels. Said the brothers, let's sell Joseph to the traders. So they took Joseph up out of the pit and sold him for 20 pieces of silver. The traders took Joseph and went on their way. From the road, Joseph could see the hills where his father's tent was pitched. He knew Benjamin was there with his father. If only he could be there too. Joseph cried and cried and cried. Then Joseph stopped crying. He said, I will be brave. God will take care of me. Down in Egypt, the traders sold Joseph to a man named Potiphar. Joseph had to work hard. His legs got tired. His back got tired. But he did his work well. When he swept the floor, he was careful to sweep in the corners. 
When he pulled weeds in the garden, he pulled every one. Potiphar said, You are a good worker, Joseph. Joseph learned to talk like the people of Egypt. He wore clothes like the people of Egypt. He cut his hair like the people of Egypt. But there was one thing he would never, never do like the people of Egypt. The people of Egypt prayed to an idol or to a cat and sometimes even to a frog. But Joseph prayed always to the God of heaven, as Jacob his father had taught him. Many, many years went by. Joseph grew to be a very wise man. Now it happened that the king of Egypt wanted a very wise man to build storehouses and to fill the storehouses with corn. The king said, Where could I find a man wiser than Joseph? I will get Joseph to build the storehouses. I will have Joseph fill them with corn. So the king made Joseph ruler of Egypt next to himself. He said to the people of Egypt, Whatever Joseph says, you must do. Joseph rode in a shiny chariot. He drove a team of prancing horses. Joseph built the storehouses for the king. He filled the storehouses with corn. Then came the time of no rain. And because there was no rain, nothing grew. There was no corn for the people to eat. No corn for the cows or the horses. The people cried to the king, Give us corn or we die. The king said, Go to Joseph. He will help you. Joseph opened up the storehouses and sold the people corn. One day, Joseph saw ten little donkeys with empty sacks on their backs coming toward the storehouse where he was selling corn. Beside the ten little donkeys walked his ten older brothers. The brothers didn't know Joseph, but Joseph knew them. They bowed to Joseph with their faces to the ground. Joseph remembered his dream about the sheaves. Joseph talked with his brothers, but he didn't tell them who he was. Not yet. Is your father well? asked Joseph. Do you have another brother? Our father is well, they said. We have a younger brother at home. When you come again to buy corn, said Joseph, Bring your younger brother with you. Joseph filled their empty sacks with corn, and the ten little donkeys went home. The brothers came again to buy corn. This time Benjamin was with them. Joseph stood up before his brothers, and they still did not know him. Then he said, I am Joseph. Benjamin was happy to see Joseph. But the ten older brothers were afraid. They said, Now Joseph will punish us for selling him to the traitors. But Joseph said, Don't be afraid. Come to me. 
Joseph hugged Benjamin and all his brothers. Joseph's brothers were now good, kind men. They were sorry for what they had done. Joseph gave each of them a new coat. He sent home with his brothers many presents for Jacob, his father. He sent wagons to move them all down to Egypt, where there was plenty of corn. Joseph watched the road, and one day he saw the wagons he had sent, and the ten little donkeys, and his brothers with his father's sheep, all coming down the road to Egypt. Joseph jumped into his chariot. He galloped his horses up the road to meet them. When Jacob saw Joseph coming, he climbed down from the wagon. Joseph jumped down from his chariot. He ran to his father and threw his arms around him. He hugged him and hugged him. Now, Joseph and his father and Benjamin and his ten older brothers would all live together happily in the land of Egypt.